Educated wine drinking academic Stephen Jackson wearing glasses now. I really like this look. I really like this look. Tough guy going uptown. Oh my goodness. Let me take these glasses off. <laughs> okay. So uh you I can't announce the other thing yet, right? Not yet. Okay, next week? Next week. Can we can we talk about it for next week? Yes. Like You'll tell me. There's a big story going to happen with this yes. guy, and it, and it's it's fascinating, and it's uh, Joey you can knows. You say what it's about. You just can't say. What it's to about deal with. the brawl yes. in Detroit, and that I, I stopped talking about it. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to talk about something. You have been really critical of Luke Walton, mm -hmm. and I've said this. I'm not saying he's the best coach. Right. But everybody was banging on Eric Spolster with LeBron first year, mm -hmm. and then everybody kind of Pat Riley said, no, no, no. no. This kid knows what he's doing. Give him time. Luke Walton's going to get in our job somewhere. Yes, no question. LeBron, I'm watching the body language. I'm watching all this tape. LeBron's out on him. Mm -hmm. The body language, Stephen, I can watch a player and know he's in a guy. Then LeBron deserves some heat. Never put his arms around him once this year. Not yeah. one time. He could he could have handled the situation a lot different. I mean, with with the trade and and him being out and walking in the arena with wine while he was out and all this stuff. Thank like, you for mentioning that. Like like. You, with this team being so young, you you can't be disengaged. You have to be engaged at all times. Um, he's dealing with a different monster being in the West, in Western Conference. This is not the Eastern Conference where you can make all these mistakes and stuff still go well for you. You don't have Kyrie. So it's a different situation. Right. And, and the veterans on this team is not the veterans he's had of old. Good point. You know what I mean? One-year guys, kind of quirky guys. Yep. Uh, Rondo's here and there. Uh, Stevenson's not playing as much. JaVale got up to a good start. Now you can't find him. Um, so and, some of this is LeBron. Uh, uh, you know, it, it is him because he's the best player. And, you know, even you, you can tell by against Phoenix when he, tra when, he th when he took the ball out and threw it in the back of the goal. Everybody's frustrated, and losing is taking a toll on him. It's even taking a toll on him right now. And you can see it with the whole team. But with Luke, you know, I, when you got guys like Mike Beasley, Mike Beasley is a, great, is a great player. But when you got guys like Mike Beasley that barely plays, and he's going at the coach in the media, they have no respect for him. I've never been on a team where a guy that's not even playing has, has, has the audacity to get up and have an argument with the coach. When Mike Beasley can do stuff like that, that lets you know the team is, is, is tore apart. Why, why do you think that is? Well, first of all, they don't respect Luke. Like, it's, 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 it's a different time. It's a different league, you know. People always get mad when guys like me say the league is soft it's and it's different. But when guys like James Harden and all these guys that's in the league say it, it's cool. But when we say it, we hate it. But it, it's just what the, the stage of the game is right now. It's softer. It's different. Guys don't care. More guys ca uh, concerned about what the game can do for them instead of loving the game. And, and so what you're saying, in today's NBA, players are more empowered. Uh, they got to respect the coach. It used to be as we all grew up. Coach barked, you listened. Players aren't like that. I was a better player than Rick Carlisle, but I respected him as a coach. I listened to him because he's one of the smartest coaches in the game. I never, I, we got into it, but I didn't disrespect him. And the guys that wasn't playing on our team, they was working hard. They didn't say nothing. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't try to overthrow authority. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't have the confidence to speak to the coach because they wasn't playing. When you have a guy that's not playing, is at the end of the bench that has the audacity to say something to the coach, that goes to show that there's no respect for him in that locker room. Let me ask you about LeBron. Uh, he's great. Uh, Joy and I say if he doesn't make the playoffs, it, it does. It's not an indictment on his legacy, but um, hurt for the first time, not going to make the playoffs, and if they don't land Anthony Davis, LeBron's still great, but he kind of moves off the front page of the NBA. If they don't land AD. That means Paul George said no thanks. We hear Kawhi's not interested. Um, does it start to if, – if Anthony Davis doesn't come to Los Angeles, can we now say Kyrie left him? LeBron's not for a lot of the top players. Well, it's, I ain't going to say Ky Kyrie. Him and Kyrie might be back together. You think so? It's a possibility. But um, – I don't think it's the fact that people don't want to play with him. And if and if LeBron doesn't get a championship here, it will hurt his legacy. If they don't make it to the playoffs this year, next year, it will hurt his legacy. I mean, you talk about all the great Laker players, and and he went there for his legacy. But all the players that's that's named, that jerseys retired and have statues, they won championships there. If he doesn't win a championship, it's definitely gonna hurt his legacy. No, it's really interesting because everybody that's come to L.A. trade free agency. Got a ring. Right. Got something. In right. fact, Dwight Howard came here. It was a mess, and nobody took him seriously from that point forward. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're a center. You come to the Lakers, you're irrelevant. Like, I, there, It's not that LeBron will be irrelevant, but if he goes two years at the end of it mm -hmm. and he can't make the playoffs, yeah. 
Let's be honest about the NBA. <laughs> May and June is when the ratings pop. That, and if you're not on television then, let me ask you about Kyrie Irving. I can't figure this out. Mm -hmm. So he's very talented. I'm not, not, not saying he's not. No question. Uh, but him and Kevin Durant, there is something about Instagram and the media. Mm -hmm. They hear a lot of stuff. Kyrie Irving and the Celtics appear to be imploding. What's happening as a former player? What's going on? Okay. For all the people that don't really understand the game of basketball, same thing Kyrie's going through, same things Braun going through. You're not, they're not used to losing. See, people, people look at stuff and the same things go on when teams are winning. But when, when they're losing, things get magnified. Like players argue when they're winning. They have, they have arguments in the locker room. They disagree on the you, court. You, when you were with the Spurs and you won, guys argued? Well, they didn't argue after games, but when we, when we, when we went through parts of the season where we lost two or three games in a row, or things weren't going our way for a, a week or two, guys, Guys, emotions uh, went, uh, went crazy, and guys got well, blame. I'm blaming it on you. Well, you need to do your job. <laughs> Things like that happen when you're losing. Yeah. But LeBron's never been in this situation. Kyrie's never been the leader of a team where they're going through all this losing stuff. So now people are magnifying like, well, this guy's dealing with that. No, they're losing, and losing brings magnifies all the stuff that goes on even when you're winning. By the way, I want to shift to this. Um, Andre Iguodala said over the week, he said it's unbelievable to me. I mean, Steph Curry's the second best point guard of Magic all time, and nobody ever talks about him. And I was saying this, there's something about Steph Curry. Players have more respect for Westbrook than Steph Curry, and Steph Curry is going to win five titles and changed the sport. Why don't players give Curry more love? What players don't give him love? Oh, come on. Every time they mention, a couple years ago, Westbrook and LeBron. It's the Warriors. People hate the Warriors, period. It, people, it's, it's people not just respect Kevin Durant. They, they hate the Warriors, period. They don't talk about Clay. Clay is the best shooter in the game. The best, one of the best two-way players. They don't talk about him as much. You know why? Because he's on the Warriors. Okay. Everybody hates the Warriors. If I gave you Steph Curry or uh, Russell Westbrook to start a franchise, who would you take? I'm taking Steph Curry. You are? Yes. Okay. To, to start my franchise. Okay. But Steph Curry or Kyrie Irving? I'm taking Steph Curry. Okay. Steph, Steph Curry is, is, is the second best point guard of all time to me right now. Uh, but when Russ, if Russ continues and wins the championship or two uh, and finishes his career with averaging a triple-double, it's going to be, it has to be a new conversation. If it's not a conversation with, if Russ averages a triple-double, finishes with two championships or two MVPs, if his name is not in that conversation, it's just hate, point blank. He's averaging a triple double in the best league in the world. Yeah, but it's not easy to do. First, last two years, first round. True. I mean, that, that's about. Uh, but you. Allen would, Iverson don't have a championship. Yeah, but Allen Iverson's not as good as Magic or Isaiah. That's because he didn't have any championships. He didn't, uh, you don't think Isaiah Thomas is held in higher esteem than Iverson? Not to me. What? Not to me. Iverson. Isaiah Thomas, best ball handler in league history. He 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 he's he's definitely a great, but I think AI was a better player. Well, we just disagree on that. <laughs> yeah, we disagree on that. Isaiah Thomas, another guy, he played. Hard. You know, he and Stockton played in the Magic era. So it's like Phil Mickelson played when Tiger was crushing it. So people forget how Isaiah great. Isaiah was a dog. I love Isaiah. Isaiah Thomas is in un, one of the all-time great basketball players. Best ball yes. handler, league history. Competitor. Oh, tough. By get far. in fights. Get in. Oh, he was great. My type of guy. Yeah, me, me too. I love good advice. I'm very physical. All right, great stuff with the academic, sophisticated vino drinking uh, Stephen Jackson. Vino. Uh, hour three next.